All right, what's up guys? We're gonna be setting up the lighting for the first part of this series and we're gonna be using the RMS mount with the Radeon XR30 Gen 2 Pro. I've already used my RMS mount once. I did buy it brand new, but this is what comes in the box. You're gonna get your instructions. You're gonna get the bracket itself. You're gonna get a gooseneck with it. Um, a little rubber pad thing that I can only assume use for the glass. I haven't used it. Also comes with three extensions and a little allen wrench so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the extension that you want to use for your tank and we're gonna get the bracket what we're gonna do is slide the bracket into the extension piece make sure you're lining up with um, the two screw holes here then you gotta take those screw holes and use the two tiny screws that are included in the kit and screw them into those holes. That way the bracket doesn't fall off the extension and your light doesn't go into the water. Once that's all done, now we have to get our gooseneck and we're going to attach the extension onto the gooseneck with this little oblong little nut here that slides right down into the channel of the extension piece. There's the channel there. And it just simply slides together. Once you get it all put together like that here, you're going to use the Allen wrench that's included and tighten it down. Now we're going to go ahead and mount the light onto the bracket. There's four screws that are included and we're going to be using the four screws at each corner of the Radeon. And once that's all done, we're pretty much ready to put it on the tank. Uh, of course, make sure that the clamp is opened up wide enough to fit over your glass. And uh, you can start tightening down the fixture. Make sure that it's centered as well. Um, don't over tighten it. Don't use channel locks or anything like that. You don't want to risk breaking the um, bracket or your tank. And now we can do some cord management here. We can go ahead and take the Radeon power cord and tuck it into these little channels here. This is what they're designed for, for cord management. So that's really nice. It's a good touch. It looks really clean. And this is... Uh, pretty much what the light looks like on the tank with the RMS mount. RMS mount is really, really sleek. I like it. Um, my only gripe that I have with it is that piece right there. I wish you could extend it uh, higher over the tank. The extension pieces are just fine for this tank. I'm using the longest one and I have plenty of coverage over it. If you need to adjust the extension, all you got to do is loosen the little oblong nut there and then you can slide it back and forth once you get it in position tighten it back down so guys this is what the light looks like over the tank uh, like I said this is just um, the first part of this series I'm excited to bring some more on getting this build going um, we have the lighting over it now I'm sure it'll come on and off a couple of times as uh, the build progresses but here it is with the uh, Radeon over it Next part of this, we'll be hooking up the ATO and doing some pumps. Thanks for watching, guys. Later on.